What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today we're back with another cash game session playing 2-5 with a $500 buy-in. Coming off a four-day break from poker in real time, so feeling refreshed and recharged and hoping to book a big win today. So hijack open, we threw at the button of the kings. See the four bets. Um... Going to get this in here, I think trapping a bit with kings in positions reasonable as well, though. But this time we're going to get it in. Snap called by aces. Going to need a diamond or a king on the turn. Let's go. Getting super lucky to start the session off. Kings cracking the aces. All right, so open the button with kings here. Big blind three bets. Time to come in with the four bet. Jams, here we go. Kings versus ace king. And wow, we hold $1,300 pot going our way there in quite the cooler button versus big blind. Very small blind, king five of hearts get called. And I'm going to find a check here. I think it's good to have some top pairs in our checking range from time to time. Don't think we need to always do this, but don't mind mixing it in sometimes. So see a bet, we'll go ahead and call. And three on the turn, we'll go ahead and check. I want to bets again here. Not worried about them necessarily having tons of threes. I think they're going to check back a decent amount on the flop with those. It does bring a second flush draw, so we're just going to keep calling here to keep some bluffs in. And 10 on the river, good run out. Both the flush draws miss. So we now have kings and threes of the 10 kicker. Definitely planning on calling a river bet at this point once we've... Uh, check the flop with the top pair of blind versus blinds. And our opponent goes for a big bet, though. Um, again, I think with all these draws missing and our hand being a little under rep as being a king here, we'll go ahead and call. And shows up with a five deuce of diamonds, so he did miss both his draws, and we're good. Cut off open, we three bet ace king here. Big blind cold calls. Uh, original razor calls as well. We're gonna flop top pair, top kicker here. Ace seven five two spades. And we'll bet. Min click raise here. Uh, from this opponent, especially the spade in my hand, I think I want to play is just a call. And I'll set up under pot behind. Don't want to give him a chance to fold some medium strength aces, whereas they might just jam those in on the turn if I don't raise. So I'm going to play this just a call, planning on getting in on any turn. And once they check here, I will jam for just under pot. Get called up against ace six, and we do hold. So open the button this time, 6-3 of hearts, get called, and interesting flop here. Flop a gut shot in the flush draw. Get raised, uh, going to just call here. And a turn comes ace of clubs. Opponent checks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bet here. I think he's going to have a lot of hands he's just going to be giving up with. And I can definitely have a lot of ace highs in my range here. Um, our opponent can still have ace highs as well. So not going to expect them to fold any bet with like an ace here. So mainly just trying to fold out their junk um, that they decide to raise with. I get called though. Seven on the river. And going to bet here. I know we blocked some of the missed flush draws, but they're some of the less likely ones they have. So I'm going to value bet here, hoping to get them to fold anything that's not at least an ace. And so our opponent goes for the raise. So that play did not work out at all. Um, they could be bluffing with a hand, but they could also have a four. Um, if any big line playing it this way. Um, don't have a ton behind, so I don't think we're going to necessarily go for the three bet bluff here. So we'll just be giving up. Cut off open, we'll defend big blind, 9-8 of diamonds. Block trip nines. Uh, 
see the bet. To raise here. See the call five on the turn. Going to continue betting here. Uh, pretty much polarizing at this point, so I think we can go bigger when we do bet. So we'll go for pots. Hoping for no heart for two reasons. One, we our opponent could be on the heart draw. Second, also, if the heart's missed, they might be more likely to call down with like an ace in their hand, as we could have some bluffs here with missed heart draws. Do you see the call? Unfortunately, do the hearts on the river. So going to block the river now. On this flush completing card. And see the fold. All right, open up button, 9-8 of hearts, get called by the big blind, flop the flush draw, and the ace-high board will bet. See the call, turn the flush, perfect turn card. Go ahead and bets again. Get called, and good run out here. And going to go for a third bet here. Snap calls us, and our flush will be good. Oh wow, flush versus flush, so we did not get their full stack, which is a little bit disappointing. So button open, small blind flat, we go for the squeeze here. Small blind's pretty short, they jam, we'll get it in. Kings versus ace king. Oof, ace on the river is going to crack our kings. Uh, here we open ace nine, get called, and we'll bet queen jack jack. Could do some checking back as well. Pretty quick call here, four on the turn to check turn. And river a pair. Um, let's see here, bets out for pot. Uh, hand such as like king 10 complete too, and a hand like 10, nine isn't gonna go for the size and bluff. So I think we can find a fold. All right, let's see what we get from our poker stars chest this time. So we're gonna start off with some cash. We get $11 cash. And that's going to be it. All right, that's going to put a wrap on today's cash game session. So we played a mix of 2-5 and 1-2. At 2-5, we played 756 hands, a profit of $1,980. And then at 1-2, 140 hands, profit of 304. Total profit on the day, plus 2,285. Huge session for us today. All started with that nice suck out. We had kings versus aces all in pre, hitting that king on the turn. Uh, also puts us over that 100K profit mark again since 2016. So that means next time out, we'll be playing another 510 1K buy-in session. This will be our fourth shot at it. I've lost all three of my 510 sessions earlier. So hopefully the fourth time's a charm and we break through with a big win. Uh, so if you guys are watching the vlog on YouTube today and enjoyed the video, please be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm currently posting a new poker vlog five days a week, every Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you ever want to know my live streaming schedule on Twitch, I post that every Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Schedule tab.